Hey folks, it's another wonderful evening here in Cambodia, Kampot. You got the sun setting right there behind me over Boko Mountain, as you can see right there. Unfortunately, it's a bit of a one of the only small apartment buildings here in Kampot that's obstructing the view a little bit, but that's unfortunate the way it is. And right here behind me, we have a Starbucks now in Kampot, a little town. Campot and the Starbucks. That used to be called the fish market back in the day. It was actually a real fish market. Then it became a restaurant called the fish market. They weren't making enough money because they were quite expensive. And then Starbucks took over the lease and turned it into a candy shop. As we know, uh, Starbucks is disguised as a coffee shop, but sells nothing but sugar, sugary drinks and sugary junk food. Let's go and have a look. Uh, the only thing that's, that they sell is real, is real coffee, is espresso, cappuccino, latte. You know, those three, Americano, they have no sugar. And of course their own coffee beans and, and, and merchandise and stuff, but the rest is all sugar. And they love some water too. Hello, how are you doing? So, to the inside, of the Campbell Starbucks. And this is the food up there, you see? Fruit juices, and sugar, cakes, and muffins, and croissants, and more cakes, and more cakes, and more cakes. And nothing savory. Sandwiches, you have sandwiches, right? That's it. Just sandwiches and cakes. And lots of sugar drinks. Okay, thanks. Just trying to show the, the place. All right, let's get it. Sorry, yeah, that's in my way a little bit there. You see, I'm filming, right? <laughs> so look, this is the outside area, which is quite nice. Because what well, the beautiful thing about it is it's got an amazing view. As you see, that is the old bridge over there. The tourist office right by the old bridge. Boko Mountain, the mountain range is huge. It goes from all the way over there. Blah, 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 blah. It goes on for like... 30 kilometers. It's not tall, it's not high, but it's long and many, many trails and great to hike and, and trek. Yeah, this is a beautiful place to hang out. I mean, I don't, I don't ever hang out here. I just come to make videos sometimes because I don't want to spend $2.50 for a coffee I'm having it on the river. I don't know. But the Cambodian people do, right? right? They love Starbucks for some reason. I don't. I like... I like local coffee, Cambodian coffee. You like you like Starbucks? Yeah. Yeah, why? Why you like Starbucks? Huh? Tell me, why you like Starbucks? It's expensive, no? How much is that? Expensive, but this one. Three fifty, four dollars. You know why it's delicious? Because you got cream with lots of sugar. Side. That's what makes it delicious, lots of sugar. And I don't drink sugar, so I try to help make people lose weight and be fit. <laughs> Enjoy it anyway. Have a good evening. Thank you. Thank you for the interview. So, very nice ladies. Uh, yeah, so that's what I wanted to give you a bit of an insight here about the Starbucks in Campot. It's it's a lovely building, like I said, it's a shame it used to be a real traditional fish market and then a lovely, really, really beautifully designed restaurant called the Fish Market, but that is now gone. I just want to go on outside, the terrace here, which is nice to chill and hang out. And the river. As you can see, this is a very popular, I love this. Uh, this river, uh, riverside walk promenade here because it's, it's really really great it's busy but not too busy and there's not that many cars there's motorbikes but it's windy breezy so you don't feel any fumes which is great so it's a wonderful place to walk every any time of the day and i walk it at least two to three times a day plus i go hiking on the weekends up in the mountains and as you can see the rest the rest of the buildings here are low colonial style buildings right, the restaurant's closed that's called the J bar, J bar, very nice, J bar, um, and then here you've got 
Taravin Market, which is a good grocery store. There's another one on the other side, which has more food. And then you've got a lovely little place over there, like a bakery, coffee shop, sells English pies and stuff. Not for me, you've got Italian restaurants, you've got Indian restaurants, you've got uh, burgers, you've got local food, you've got lots of bars, and everything going on over there. So, as you can see, all the other buildings here are very low, colonial style, and very, very welcoming. So, that's a little tour of downtown Campot to give you an idea of what the place looks like. Instead of just looking at the uh, sunset and the mountains, which I usually do. Lots and lots of restaurants strewn, strewn along the, the roadside here. This one is a very good one called Artisans. Another one over there from Vanna, which is also quite good, ran by a Belgian friend of mine. And then you've got more and more. But you can see people sitting down. Um, just chilling with the sunset great and some places are busy other places are not it's generally there's no season so it's generally on the quiet side but some um, establishments are always quite busy with the local expats um, and some Cambodian people most of the Cambodian people that come here from the provinces on the day or in the week it's quite frequent now because of the new seahorse fountain they usually bring their own food with them this is the Cambodian version of Starbucks, which is called brown coffee, which is far, far nicer in my opinion. This is new too, built in an old colonial building. Upstairs, we've got a terrace as well. They've got real food. They've got, they've, got this, they've got the sweet stuff like Starbucks. They've got all the same coffee stuff, but they've also got real savory food, which makes a big difference. And you have a, the pig, pig pen, which is a barbecue, American barbecue joint over there. Your beer has next to the got an Irish bar called O'Neill's, which is mostly mostly frequented by old uh, old men drinking a lot. So I don't really go there that much. And here are my friends. Just making a video about Campot. Lovely, lovely Campot. Oh, Campot. <laughs> Hi, my friends from Campbell, here from England, living in Campbell like me. So, happy special pizza is another good place to go. And then you got Ricky Tiki Tavern here. Ricky Tiki Tavern behind me, very nice. Upstairs, sitting area, very comfortable sitting with, with like, uh, sofas and so on. So that's cool. So as you can see, there's lots and lots going on. And then the further down you go, past the the, uh, the Seals Phantom, which is the main attraction now in Cambodia, and seems like most of Cambodia, the more Cambodian it gets. So the, the down there, there's like lots of Cambodian restaurants, fish, and seafood, and stuff like that. So that, just to close off the video, there's the Seals Phantom, and you can see from down here, it's getting very, very busy with vendors. These guys over here, they make they make grilled squid, selling sunglasses and whatnot. So yeah, so here you, you, you see, you see, it's turning from Western to Cambodian. You've got your good Cambodian music going on there with some stores, food stores here, food stores there. So it turns into food stores, basically. Lots of uh, barbecue and noodly things and whatnot I don't really eat because I I don't eat any carbohydrates, no noodles, no rice, no pasta bread, or sugar, so I can have I have to stay away from that. But yeah. Hope you like the video. Sorry it's a bit wobbly because I'm walking along with that without a tripod at the moment, but that's okay. So anyway, I would highly recommend you come and visit Campo because it's very, very nice here. It's just it's really enjoyable. It's very relaxing, very calming. You've got everything you need here. Uh, it's, 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 a, it's a small city, but it's got everything. It's got restaurants, cafes, supermarkets, markets, you know, local markets, fun uh, nature stuff, trekking, hiking, swimming, rivers, 
the ocean is nearby 15 minutes away in Cap and, and so on. So look, there's the seahorse. But it's really worth it. It's really, really worth coming here because it's just, for me, I've lived in Siem Reap, I've lived in Phnom Penh, and I've, I've, uh, I've been living here now for three or four months and I prefer it by far. It's just, it's just so nice and chilled. And you can get lots of work done, lots of people around to talk to. Okay, that's me. Rob about Cambodia, robsouthwest.com. Don't forget to go there and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.